All right. So today's prompt is elemental and my favorite movie monster. Now the problem with that is uh, I don't know who my favorite movie monster is. Not even close. No idea. I saw someone drew a cat girl and that's cool. Like maybe that's my favorite movie monster. Not much of a monster, but I mean monsters don't have to be scary, right? I think enough of us have seen Monsters Inc. to know that. Uh, that being said, what the fuck? What do I do? I could just draw an elemental. But that feels kind of like cheating. And I do love elementals, but my favorite? I mean, I don't know, you know? I saw some people go very specific with that one. Like, uh, someone drew the mom from Coraline. Uh... And she's scary. She's a good monster. I like Hades. Is he a monster? I think he qualifies. I guess. Maybe? I don't know. It's a... Uh... It's a tricky one. Hmm. Might have a book that can help me. So here's the book. Fantasy Artist Pocket Reference Incredible Characters by Finlay Cohen. Anyway, I was just grabbing this for reference. Uh, it's a pretty cool book I picked up a while back. Um, anyway, it basically has... It's very much like Conceptober, really. I flipped through it a little bit just now, and it's got like... So it's got like general character types, like Barbarian, or classes maybe. Uh, and then it's got Beowulf, and that's like a specific character. Then it's got very general, like female hero. Then it's got girl <laughs> hero. And I love the art in this thing. Anyway, that's that book. Uh, I like it. I recommend it. And maybe at some point I'll actually do that challenge that I made up. Draw, paint, and create a hundred beings of myth and imagination. I guess that's kind of what this book is meant to do, though. It's meant to be a reference, and it's meant to be for artists. Oh. Draw every day is one of the things that it recommends. One weekend I turned out 90 drawings, all of which were pretty good. Oh. So yeah, I'm a slow artist. Maybe I'm just not at his level yet. And that's fine. Definitely fine. Very cool that some people are there. Life is hard. Whatever. We're moving on. Uh, so, I looked at a bunch of stuff. We're doing an elemental. And then, do I want to do a succubus? Or maybe like a fairy? Or a, uh, I kind of like the idea of a little person, not necessarily a fairy. Like, uh, Arietti. The secret of Arietti? Is that what it's called? So, when I thought of elemental, the first thing that came to mind is fire elemental. But, I guess I kind of like the idea of water elemental just because. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of less common. And also... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could do a wind or a plant type thing, but I don't really want to do the plant thing. 
And frankly, I just don't know how to do a wind thing. Maybe I'll do a succubus. A water succubus sounds kind of cool. Doesn't sound too far from a mermaid. But they also just don't have to have a tail, and that's pretty good, you know? I guess that's kind of like a siren. Or at least what we interpret sirens as now. Since, as we discussed, sirens were actually originally bird women that could sing beautifully. That actually makes me not want to do a succubus. So I guess we're going to do a tiny person. Tiny water person. That's... That's what we're going to try rolling with. I could change my mind, and I might do it. You know? Here we go. Oh my god. You know what I'm thinking about? So, you know the original Fantasia? Those little, like, frost fairies, and then light fairies. And I don't remember if they had water fairies, but I think they did have fairies that spread dew. And god, did I love that. Fantasia's fantastic, though. Anyway, maybe I'll do something along those lines that feels a little less, like, normal fairy. Although, I could just not give them wings and do the same thing. That's probably what I'm gonna go with, because fuck, that's so cute. I love it. Look at her! Look at her tiny face! Tell me she's cute! I know she is! Okay, that's it. We've decided. This is our adorable little water princess. And she's tiny. And she's gonna be spreading dew on some plants. And she's the goddamn best and I love her. And I'll defend her until my dying days. Okay, so uh, I think this is basically it. Yes, she's not going to be wearing clothes, but she's also going to be made of water, so that should be fine. You'll have to be able to tell that more when I color it, paint it. Uh, I drew pretty good lines that you can kind of see through because I was considering making her somewhat see-through, like water, but that could also be an issue. I don't know. I think it should be cu pretty cute. I like the drawing. I think it's good. This is probably going to take a little bit of experimentation, but uh, 
Doesn't matter. We'll get it, basically. I'm a little nervous, I'll admit. Just because, but um, like I said, we're gonna We're gonna get this. Okay, here we go. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You're not gonna ruin this. It's not like this is one of the better drawings I've done. It's gonna be okay, okay? It's gonna be okay! Okay, so, so far this looks pretty good, but I need a background, and I mean more than not an environment, a background, so I gotta figure that out. I was considering doing black, but I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe a, a brown? darker brown, maybe a green brown. I'm gonna try some stuff. I'm a little scared, but I've been a little scared this whole time. Sorry about that. <laughs> 